everyone. <laughs> I made it. <sighs> so sorry about that, guys. I'm here. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Um, I have to catch up on chat. I have no idea who came in first. I'm so sorry I missed it. Um, hi, Linda, Diane, Abby, Joe Beth, Janine, Lulu, uh, Sammy, <laughs> Zeely. Who else there? Did I miss? Uh, I know there's. Oh, Laura, hello. Goodness me, guys. Leslie. You all just jumped in. I've never, I'm never not on time. So uh, I'm feeling a little bit rushed now. I'm puffed out. <laughs> oh, okay, Leslie. No worries. We all have to work. Do you have sound? I'm hoping you've all got sound now. Hi Kenny. Hi Alicia. Hi Laura. Hi guys. Good. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, there was no sound at the start. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was just trying to get stuff organized. I'm um I'm streaming twice today. I'm streaming in twelve hours time. Well actually eleven and a half hours time as well. So um you guys will be able to see me there as well. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to get a few things uh, organized here for you. Uh, popping up a flip through. A couple, actually. Um, so let me go and find them. First of all, the great big steampunk freak out. Um, we have that one <laughs> coming our way. So uh, what I might do is, while I'm just fiddling around trying to add in a Nathaniel Wake flip through as well here, um, I'm going to play the... I'm, I made a little video of, of the steampunk event. So, uh, hashtag steampunk freak out. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, Abby. I'm sorry, I know. I, I tried to do it in um, the UK time, so it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. It's hard. Alright, I'm going to play the... Uh, this is the steampunk freakout um event and these are all the images that are going to be included so uh, Nathaniel Wake has brought out a couple of new books and I've already done a couple of flip throughs previously and uh, today I'm going to do a flip through of his totems and tribal book and also an oldie from him which is a steampunk life book and um, I'll try and color something I have no idea what I'm going to color today I'm kind of a little bit all over the place feeling a little bit I don't know rushed I don't know what happened I just wasn't very organized yesterday and should have done it yesterday but anyway <laughs> Okay, I'll be perfect. So, um, yeah. Uh, Janine here in Australia will be 9 o'clock tonight. Hi, Pat. Hi, Rain. Welcome, guys. Welcome, new peoples. My name's Belinda, if you don't know. We're just flipping through at the big... Um collaboration with artists and streamers event that we've got going the mid November steampunk freakout and these are the images that the artists are doing at a discounted price for the next 48 hours starting sometime in the next 12 hours roughly <laughs> it's all right um, and they'll be available on their um, Etsy stores and things like that so bit of fun and um and yeah a bit of fun yeah okay so what will happen is all of the artists there's only a couple that will be doing it for free one of them is the lovely laura who's here today so laura how long will that before that goes live um and then 
And Nathaniel Wake, which we're doing today, his is already available for free. Uh, so the links are in the description below, uh, but, uh, but I have the version available free from Nathaniel Wake there. Hopefully that's the right link. I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I've got that correct. So first of all, I'll do a quick flip through of his Totems and Tribal colouring book. Um, he's got a couple of new ones coming. He's in the process of making another steampunk book and also a dragon one. So he's got a lot in the works, um, which is kind of cool. About six hours. Thanks, Laura. So all of those links are in the description below there as well. Um, and... Laura's will be free for 48 hours. Nathaniel Wakes, I'm just going to leave uh, on hosting so it'll be available to anyone watching later on. And all of the other images that I just showed up in the video, they're all going to be available in the uh, artist's Etsy store. So all of those links are in the description below as well. Alright, so it'll be 48 hours worldwide. So which, whatever time. It'll be 48 hours. Anyway. It's a whole weekend, <laughs> um, which is kind of cool. And uh, we've got loads of, um, there's six of us uh, streamers doing this event. I've got a schedule here if you would like to join in. Uh, the lovely Colouring with Vicky has put it into different time zones so people can hopefully uh, find their own time zone and follow along to that. Obviously, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be at 6am so uh, for the US, <laughs> so it may be a little bit hard for you guys, so may need to watch back, but it's pretty exciting. Alright, so the streamers that will be streaming, I'm trying to find the list, I've got a big list here. We've got Laura Rafferty, Colour and Chat with Sammy, myself, Honour Your Crafts, Passionista, Colorista, and Coloring with Vicky. Is that all of them? Did I say them all? Please, I hope I didn't miss any. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of fun. We're all going to be doing different images. I've picked, I've got two streams. One is in 12 hours from now, uh, and I'll be doing, I've picked two images. I'm possibly going to do Jennifer Zimmerman first, or Mariola Beauty. I've got those two on my list, though, so... Um, uh, Lisa Matrokin, hers is only free to patrons, um, and I think uh, the one for the event is free to patrons, I think, and uh, the and it'll be sold. I'm not exactly sure how she's doing that, but uh, also she has a free image in her Facebook group, which is also a different steampunk coloring page, uh, the Queen. So uh, she's got lots going on. So we've got uh, loads of different artists, which is really exciting. <laughs> We have uh, Christine Karen, Mariola Budic, Laura Rafferty, Sarah Richter, uh, Deborah Mueller. We've got, is it Rosa Warner Mama? <laughs> is that how you say it? Uh, Isabella there. We've got Grazia Selvo, Kim White, Nalek, I don't know how to say her name either, Shoemaker, uh, Dawn Davidson, Lisa Matrokin, um, Monia Gates, Jennifer Zimmerman, and Nathaniel Wake. So loads. Loads. Um... But it's really exciting. Really exciting. All right, let's have a look at this book that's <laughs> um, just come out by Nathaniel Wake. So these are Create Space books. Um, if you purchase the book from Amazon, uh, you can contact Nathaniel Wake and he'll send you a PDF version. But um, all of the pages are black base, are black backed. So if you do use marker, just make sure you put something underneath the page because it will still go through to the next page. But you won't be able to see it on this side, so that's kind of cool. Hi Helen, welcome guys. Yes, loads of artists. Is it fourteen or thirteen? For some reason, I feel like I've missed one. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Huh. Did I do them all? <laughs> I hope I did. <laughs> oh, well, you never know. 
Um, so I'm just looking, I've got another flip through here and I just need to pop it into my program so I can show it to you once I've done this one. Uh, that's what I was busy trying to organize this morning actually. Um, yeah, I'm just totally, totally uh, not with it today. Anyway, this is called Totems and Tribal. Don't worry about me. I'm just having one of those days. Hi, Rochelle. Lovely Kenny. Hi, Becky. Come in. Come in. Sammy is uh, fantastic and has organized this whole thing. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to leave my um, 5K subscriber um, event till after Christmas, perhaps. <laughs> Um, I'm taking a little bit of time off in December to have a little bit of a break. I'll still be streaming uh, a few times during that because I have a couple of colorathons coming up and um, I'll be involved with those. So there's still time and also there's a few new books coming out as well uh, by some different artists. So I've also got a big um, haul organized for the next sometime in the next six weeks um, I've got some product coming so that's going to be fun <laughs> you are so organized Sammy you've done really well so this is quite cool are awesome so this is just basically a book full of totem poles and Native American um, themed images it is available on Amazon I've popped all the links in the description below there as well it's a couple of bonus pages in here TV pets, mandala morphs, floral fantasy. Yeah, thanks, Diane. Japanese life, fairy life. What's your profile picture, Linda? Did I see it? I missed it. I have to have a look. Oh, it's you and your baba. <laughs> uh, grandbabies are good. <laughs> Animals and tangles. And uh, that's it. Groovy, groovy. All right, I'm going to do a coloring page out of uh, Steampunk Life, I think. Um, so I'm going to do a flip through of it. There is music. I'm sorry. It may be slightly loud because I haven't adjusted it. I've kind of just flipped it into the program. Um, I'll try to adjust it when it starts, but it may be quite loud. So just, uh, be weary. Hi, Shannon. Welcome. Me and your friend, baby. <laughs> Grand babies are gorgeous. All right. So let's do a flip through of Steampunk Life by Nathaniel Wake.
Okay. Where am I? <laughs> What's happening? There's been glitches going on with this thing today. Not happy. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing this one, but I'm not sure. Um, so the whole book is steampunk based and my program's playing up today, so it wasn't playing properly. I do apologize for that. Um, just one of those days. I'm not sure what to do. I'm a little bit um, stuck. I was thinking either this one or... <laughs> oh, oh goodness me, there's so many. Um, I'm just flicking through now to have a look and see. There's a couple of robots that are kind of cool. There was a fairy one, which I quite liked. <laughs> Thank you. Um, also, which I'm not sure. Let me print that one as well because I can't really decide. I'm having a moment. Let me have my little moment, okay? I don't have them often, so... <laughs> mm, let's stick with the dragon. I'm actually not that great with... Uh, I don't know what steampunk is, really. So uh, this is a little bit of education for me, too. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. I've never done it before. So, uh, let me do the fairy. Let me show you the fairy. Uh, it's going to come up really big to start with, but uh, I'll shrink it all the way down again. Because I really can't decide. This is half my problem today, just not organised enough to sort of look at it beforehand because, you know, that happens. Um, oh, let's just shrink it all the way down. There's a fairy. So I'm not sure. Should we have a vote? Should we have a vote? Hi, Loretta, welcome. Mixed with a bit of Victorian fashion. Okay, so let's have a vote. I've got three for fairy so far. Well, if I do the fairy, should, what, what medium should I use? Because I haven't printed it yet. So um, if I do watercolours or Copics, I don't know. I'm not doing pencil. It takes far too long. Hi, Holly. Welcome. And Graceland, welcome too. I did see you come in before. <clears throat> okay, cut, oh, cool. Fairy sounds good. Okay, well... <laughs> fairy, Loretta. Fairy. Okay. So what do we do? I'm thinking Copic because it's a little bit easier, uh, quicker, and um, let's do it. All right. Printing it. <laughs> Hi, Randy. Um, let's do it.
What a shame, the dragon's so cool. No, <laughs> I'll do him again, maybe another time. Look at my board, it's all um, scribbled on and dripped on. This is a uh, Copic ink, I just did some refills. <laughs> very detailed I find that um, maybe that's why I haven't done steampunk before because it kind of frightens me a little bit I'm thinking because of the detail in it I haven't got very good camera today either gosh nothing wants to work for me there we go Copic. <laughs> I will give you a link. It is on Amazon. Here we go. Now, I want to give you a couple of other links as well. This is a steampunk life coloring book one. Uh, in the in the chat box there. Also, the totem one is here as well. And. I'll give you a couple of links to Nathaniel Wake as well. So Nathaniel Wake has a Facebook group. First. And also has a Facebook page. In the Facebook group, he gives quite a few images away, uh, which is really awesome. So there's lots of different images from different books that he's done. And this is his website if you'd like to get a book. What happened? Oh, Randy, congratulations. Oh, how exciting. Linda's just had a new one and um, that's exciting. So very, very cool. Okay, let's do some um things Alicia are you there because we're going to use markers <laughs> and uh as usual for patrons we'll put the full color list up I had a whole heap of it on my desk today Ugh, that's what it's called okay Metals and gears, hey? Metals and gears. I'm thinking copper. Um, I'm really stuck today. Really stuck. Having one of those days. They're probably already gone. I posted them up when I was talking. So let me check under the description. The link for the book's under there as well. Just in case it does just disappear. Alright, let me grab some colours out. just have to find them. <laughs> Bear with me. Uh. All right. We have some colors here. <laughs> Oh, they didn't show up. Hang on. 
The one I'm doing now is the steampunk one. I'll post it up there now. Are you looking? Oh, it's <laughs> there's such a time delay. Who knows? Now, I've done a full, uh, on Patreon, I have a couple of full videos doing blue metal effects, copper effects, and gold effects. So, if you're looking to do some metal tutorials, um, now what I did was I worked out the colours in Copics, and then I went back and sort of uh, did a bit of converting and did pencils as well. So, there's quite a few different blends that I did on there, and the copper one I actually like is one of my favourites. So you'd like to check that out it's on there all right so shall we get started there's stuff everywhere on my computer right now just having a moment of pure freaking out okay here we go <laughs> um, so I can give you the link if you would like. Um, if you're not a patron, you won't be able to see it. But uh, if you are, you'll be able to see it there. And so that is the copper effects one. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yes, Laura has one too. Actually, I think most of us have one, uh, which is kind of cool. And we've all got different kind of... Uh, spins on it and different colors that we'll use so but um, I'm really I, I'm really looking at this going what is actually metal here so my phone's going off I've spent the last half an hour what do you call it fluffing about <laughs> All right, what's metal? She's got a bit of metal mixed with with uh, nature, it looks like here. So, hmm. All right, I might just start down here. Make sure you're on live chat, yeah. They're not. Oh, that's really weird. Um. Hmm. Links normally work. Go have a look under the video description because they're definitely in there. Uh, so just open up the two Nathaniel Wake books are the first two links in there. A real, this is an E8, but that's a really, um, <laughs> um, it's a really screwed up kind of thing there. Anyway, <laughs> it ripped when I was putting it on. So uh, steampunk is like a lot of gears and cogs um, and it seems that most of the steampunk I've seen is quite detailed so I guess that's probably why I haven't done a lot of it because um, you know I'm one for quick and easy let's get a good page out. <laughs> let's get it done.
pit of sun. Hi, May. Welcome to the crazy house. Because it is crazy today. Actually, yeah, well, you know, everyone picked this one. So here I am. <laughs> Loretta, here I am. I actually quite like the, um, yeah, the woman robot out of the Handsome Hunks, I think it is. She's kind of cool. She is. This is a E17. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Don't you? Don't you think you? Anyway. E15. I think the good thing to remember when doing shiny effects is to leave plenty of contrast. Shiny's good, contrast is good. got the coughs today. <coughs> oh. I've got YR02. Adding a little bit of that uh, orangey kind of colour that goes into copper. I got uh, hooked into down the rabbit hole last night with the YouTube clips. Craft tubers. Goodness me. <laughs> it's just like, take my money. That's what it feels like. I guess I know what you guys feel like when I have a new book and you're like, I want it, take my money. <laughs> I'm uh, thinking about doing some handmade Christmas cards for the family and maybe some like place cards and things for Christmas Day but um, yeah I just started looking up different card ideas I've made handmade present tags and things like that before and uh, one year I made I did a bit of uh, window colours on some glasses and made some little glasses with names on them as in placemats they come out really cool so yeah but I ended up like it was probably midnight nearly last night <laughs> watching YouTube dear dear me 
a bit of E11. Just a little bit to blend this out some more. Just to help coax out the lighter colours and make them blend a little bit. So I've ordered Anastasia Caldeva's new Mermaid Legends, Mermaids and Legends revamped book. I know that Christine Karen's got one in the make. Uh, Laura, have you got one coming soon? I don't think the PDF version is the new version. The PDF version is the original version. I don't know if the new version is going to be in PDF. You might have to ask because I'm pretty sure when I was looking on the website the PDF one is the old version. So the new one's different, it's got a couple of different images and they've been revamped. Y32 I also ordered myself a happy planner. Need a happy planner. It's Dee Dee's fault. <laughs> she has all these cool things and I go, I want that. I want to do that. I'd like to try that. I'm going to get one of those. Excuse me, Nani. <laughs> A little bit of E double zero. I'm going to go in and flat some gaps and maybe smooth a couple of areas off. It's really pouring down here. Really pouring. <clears throat> she's four months five months somewhere there she's six months on the 24th of December how cool is that I a white pencil and I'm just gonna put a few highlights on here Now, to me, that was quite a simple process. It wasn't too much hassle. And this is obviously the quick version of it. <laughs> Go 
got to have shinies. Yeah? Looking good. Looking good. So it'll be great if you guys could pop into Nathaniel Wake's Facebook group and thank him for the free image that he's given for the event. It's not necessary, but it'd be nice if you could. Are we getting some shininess going on here? I think so. Starting to look cool. Give us a little bit in there. Oh. How they look? Metallic? I don't know. Do they? <laughs> Slightly? A little bit? I know, they're cool, aren't they? Awesome. Mariola's is the one I'm thinking about doing. Um, well, maybe Monya Gates. I think I might go with Monya. I like Monya's too. You know what? I'll change my mind again. I'm definitely going to do Jennifer Zimmerman's. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of hers and uh, I really like it. And I like her grey style style. It's kind of cool. But, um... I'm still not sure about the second one yet. Maybe I won't get time for the second one. Who knows? Who knows? I think, she, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Laura, are you going to do yours? Oh, Marie Payne colored it. It looks so good. I don't know if I could top that. <laughs> Very intimidating. <laughs> Maria Payne is an awesome colorist and uh, kind of like Ver. I don't know how to pronounce Ver's last name, but she's awesome too. Ver, Ver, Ver. Um, you guys probably know who I'm talking about if you've been in the coloring community a while. <laughs> She brought out her own book, actually. You know what? I'm allowed to be stumped. I'm kind of put on the spot here. That's, that, you know. <laughs> I'm allowed to have those moments where things don't quite make sense in my head. Or come out my mouth making sense either. Yeah, I'm just kind of uh, not really sure what I'm doing here, but I think this is all metal. If not, it is now. So true. I might try some color some non-metal areas maybe. Because I'm not going to finish this today. Will I finish it at all? I do not know. I do not know. Hi Dorothy, welcome. Oh. 
Ooh, Sarah Richer. Is it Richer or Richter? I'm going to say Richer. Richer. Richter. <laughs> Just punch me in the face. It's all good. <laughs> I mean, it's welcome. <laughs> Just punch me in the face. You know, just wake me up a bit. <laughs> Slap in the face. Throw some water on me. Wake up, Jeff. I feel like I'm spotty. Spotty, spotty. Oh, there's so many cogs and wheels and I'm so totally overwhelmed right now. <laughs> Help me. What have I done? What am I doing? <sighs> oh, you guys are awesome. You allow me to make mistakes. It doesn't really matter too much. Isn't that right? You're all super supportive and uh, super fun to be around. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Mm -mm -mm. I have, Linda, I have, speaking of diamond painting, a massive, huge diamond painting of, um, of Nikki Burnett. Nikki Burnett, it's a witch image. Um, purpley kind of colors through it it's massive and uh, you know what I haven't I've done like a tiny little square of it <laughs> which I did on stream quite some time ago and it still hasn't done any more this is a uh, next color now just gradually moving out but um, I think I might change things up next year. I think maybe on a Monday I might do a craft. So maybe diamond painting, paint by numbers, something like that. Craft journal. And then on a Friday do our colour alongs. I need to get some of my own stuff done. <laughs> But I'm booked out for the whole year next year already with Colour Along, so I have artists for every single month. Which is awesome. I have a couple of newbies coming in that I haven't done Colour Alongs with, so that's good. Bit of fun for you guys, something different as well. You're diamond painting right now. Thanks, Kenny. <laughs> Thanks, Villa. Very cute. I am. It's weird. I, I've never done this before. Who, who's ever... I, I'm not a steampunker. I don't even know what that means. Anyway, it's all good. You get it. I, I did watch the other day The Wild West with Will Smith. And Selma Hayek. How, how do you say her name? Yeah, her. Um, it was quite funny. And I did see the metal, like it made sense, like what it's the age of the steam train <laughs> mixed with, uh, I don't know, I, I think Loretta said it mixed with the Victorian era. It's a bit of everything. It's a good movie. I liked it. It was pretty funny. I love Will Smith though. He's pretty hilarious. He's pr 
pretty funny. I watched a couple of Will Smith movies actually. I just watched I Am Legend recently. Also a good movie. Kind of sad, but a good movie. Trying to leave those lighter areas for our shininess. Thank you very much. Is it peppers? So we're trying. I'm trying to do copper. So I'm hoping we're we're, we're getting there. <laughs> it's looking a little bit like copper, maybe. Uh, big thanks to Sammy for including me in this steampunk event. It's a little bit of fun and um, I'm very, very happy to be involved. Lovely Sammy. Fabulous lady. Loads of fun. Got to add our yellow in now. Yeah, it's sad, Sammy. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is Nina Classic Crest. You are very right, um, uh, Laura. <laughs> very, very correct. Nina Classic Crest. It seems like a lot of crafters or card makers like uh, Nina too, so that's kind of cool. It means I've already got some of the right paper to make cards with. <laughs> I'm halfway there. figured that this would just be something else under her arm here otherwise her arm would have trouble bending with all that metal Okay. Sorry, what was that? No, I don't think so. There's 14 artists all together. So they're they're opening up their they're putting their uh, images available now. <clears throat> from what I understand is what's happening so they're releasing them now so uh, you can go and order them 
now so all of the links are in the description below here the Nathaniel Wake one was already available um, and they're just going to become available over the next I'm going to say the next day or so at a discounted rate for the event Some of them are up already, yep. <clears throat> <coughs> yeah, so um, Laura and Nathaniel Wakes is uh, free. Laura's is available for the 48 hours. I'm just going to leave the Nathaniel Wake available uh, so you can grab it when you're ready. And uh, it is an exclusive page too. He hasn't put it in a book or anything yet. So I think eventually it will go in his new steampunk book when he brings it out. Yeah, I think I've placed it all in the description, all the links. Laura's link should be there too. Also, there's an event, uh, there's going to be a post up in Sammy's uh, Facebook group, uh, Facebook page, sorry. Because uh, she's doing a giveaway with the event as well. But you have to do a certain amount of things to enter the giveaway. Ooh -hoo -hoo. But that's coming. How's she looking? Should we? Ha I'll have a look. I'll go have a look. Let's have a look at some of these, some of these things that we're talking about. Um, all right. So obviously, Laura's is extremely discounted because it's free. <laughs> uh, Nathaniel Wakes is extremely discounted because it's free. Uh, let's have a look. Who said... Oh. Hmm. I may have missed an image in that steampunk thing. I think I've missed Jennifer's. Did I put hers in? I don't remember. It's weird. Anyway, let me have a look. So, Mary Ella Budic has done her. Ooh, that's seventy percent off! Wow. So Mary Ella's is out. Uh, for me, in Australian dollars, it's a uh, dollar ninety-four, but it's seventy percent off the original price. So that's awesome. Who else did we say was already out? Sarah, I think hers was out already. Let's have a look. Oh, does it? I'll have to update it. There's something wrong with YouTube today. Come on, YouTube. You can do it. <laughs> um, why aren't you working? Uh, 
That's annoying. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get another link. I'm going to redo it. Uh, but I'll resave it. You might have to refresh to re-see it. So I'm just going to pop it in the description again. That's so strange. So very strange. All right, I'm going to try this and see if that works. I've just changed it. Let me see if it works this time. Here we go. It's working. Now I updated it. I hope Laura's works. Laura's works. Uh, it's just not available yet. Obviously it's coming. Um, okay, it must have just been that one. That's really weird. I apologize for that. Um, hi Bridget. Sarah. Yeah, let me look at Sarah's page. Sarah's page is available for Australian dollars 70% off as well. Uh, it's Australian dollars a hundred a dollar sixty six, <laughs> and uh, the Mina coloring page that I colored uh, last week is actually discounted as well. So uh, she's got a few discounts on her page. So go check that out. Who else was it that said they it already came out? Um. <laughs> uh, Jennifer's is not out yet so that's still to come just like I should have just had all of their Etsy pages open so I could see but you know didn't think of that uh, Grazi Salvos is not out yet but yeah, it looks like they're, well, the two that we've seen so far are about 70% off. So that's kind of cool. Just got a white gel pen and I'm just going to add in a few more highlights here. very exciting though. I'm hoping by tonight they'll all be out so um, I'll uh, update my video descriptions from my videos and make sure those links are all correct. That's really weird and it, it won't let us post any links today which is strange too um, because it says I'm posting a link. I wonder if um, if I do it from my phone, if it would be any different. Hmm, not sure. Anyhow, <laughs> let's do some uh, skin here. She hasn't got much of it, but 
we'll give it that. Some E triple zero. No, that's just like strings or something over her pants there. Alright. Uh, let's go with a little bit of E04. Just a tiny bit. You know what? That could be skin there too, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to pretend that's skin. She's got one weird looking hand. One weird looking hand. <laughs> some E11. Steampunk fairy. It's kind of cool actually. Mixing a bit of uh, fairy tales with, with steampunk. It's kind of cool. <laughs> E21. Oh, that could be skin too, eh? We put some skin in there too. Sorry, that was really Aussie, <laughs> eh? We'll just do that. True blue. <laughs> uh, we need a little bit of. Uh, what was I doing? Skin up here. Give her a little bit of a shadow there. Mm -mm, double zero. And another layer of E triple zero just to smooth it all out a bit. Bit of pink in the cheeks. <laughs> ah, you won't miss them. 48 hours uh, they're available for Sahara, so don't stress. You'll be able to get them. Bit of 
bit of R20 in her cheeks there. And on her lips. Just give her a couple of little spots for fingernails too, maybe at the back there, in the front of those ones. <laughs> I'm going to have to do dark hair, I think, because I've gone over, because it's so detailed. Um, okay. What can we mix with copper? Because copper is kind of a pinky yellow colour. It's a, a bit of a mix of colours. Maybe some greens and pinks. Let's give her pink hair. What do you reckon? I reckon. Um, <clears throat> let's go some RV69. She's a fairy. She can have pink hair. Just kind of colouring under the little cog bit there a little bit. Uh, Sarah's was there. <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me, got the <coughs> bug. I'm really annoyed that it won't let me post any links so I'm going to try and send it through my phone and see if that works what do you reckon alright let me just try it for you give me a sec here. Let's go to it. Etsy, we love you. Okay, let me Etsy me it. Copy link. And let's go to my live video. Of course, there's an ad. Let's try this. Tell me if this. What? It won't even let me, it won't even let me paste the link. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> There's definitely something wrong with YouTube today. Let me try the Etsy me link and see if that works on here. Wow, that's weird because, um, I can see mine. <laughs> I don't know what the... <laughs> My 
my friend. No. <laughs> I tell you, it's just one of those days. It is. I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm just going to forget it happened. Obviously, it just doesn't like me. Devastated. <laughs> Devastated. <laughs> All right. Uh, RV 66. How strange is that? It worked. I know. Absolutely stupid. None of the links we were doing before worked, and now this one works. It's like craziness. Hang on. Should I see if the uh, Amazon ones work that I did before? Let's see. Let's see if they work. Here we go. Um, let's try the steampunk book first. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's see if that worked. It's saying it worked here. It's coming up working. Did it work? Yep. Oh my gosh. There you go. Sahara fixed it. <laughs> she came in and posted her link and now it's working. <laughs> Just crazy talk. Talk about tech diff today. Uh, I have some RV. Maybe I don't. Uh, what? Oh, that's just crazy. I do have RV sixty three somewhere here. Where is it? Come on, come out wherever you are. RV 63. It's called Begonia. Okay, pink is good. Pink is good because I can do green and uh, it's going to come out nice. Because there's green here in the background. And a bit of red in the mushrooms and stuff down here. So, um, I need to fill in a couple of these areas. Around the face here. Okay, let's do a little bit of coppering, but let's do a little bit of reduced colour copper coppering. Because these are tiny little areas and they don't need a lot of colour.
not quite as dark as the others which is fine bit of white and oh it does need a little bit of something it's not quite right hang on let's try a little bit more of that orange that's a bit better all right um looking good around those areas i think i'm pretty good colored those all right we've got skin done uh, you can make her lips a little bit darker maybe using some of that RV 63 in her lips Let's add some in her eye as well she's got a purple eye and um, I think we may even make the middle of the wings pink let's do that And there's all these tiny little gaps of course so we better fill those out what's the time oh gosh 11 o'clock already half an hour guys goodness me time flies eh they look like they're almost glass actually because there's a couple of cracks in there I don't know, but it's pink glass now. Yeah, what? Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Loretta. Uh, welcome. I, I, I get so upset because all of your streams are like at 3 o'clock in the morning here for me in Australia. It's so sad. I love your videos. Lisa's got an image in the event as well, so that's cool. When I start officially tonight, I'll do a proper, I've got some time this afternoon to do a proper little video thing for it. I think I may have missed Jennifer Zimmerman's. I tried to get them all. I was in a bit of a rush this morning. Uh, Lisa, I was just saying that uh, you'll be doing a colour along event with us next year. So that's pretty cool. It's very exciting. Got a few new artists I haven't done colour alongs with yet. So that's cool. I've got uh, Eva Nakunin, Lisa Matrokin. Uh. Hmm. Who else is new? I can't remember. Let me have a look. And my list. Uh, oh, I've got you. Uh, Isabella hasn't got back to me, but I'm pretty sure she'll be good for that. Oh, yeah, she did get back to me, actually. Um, so that's Rose or Wana Mama. Oh, Monia Gates as well. I have a few, a few new ones, and a few ones that I've done before, like uh, Christine Karen, Yana Prosperina, Colour and Chicks, I'm doing her again, Ennis, uh, Nell, Laura, Laura Rafferty. So, yeah, it's cool. It's good having some newbies. Newbies, newbies, newbies. <clears throat> Very much fun. Mm -hmm. 
So Lisa, your queen image in your event that you are doing, um, are you doing that on tan tone paper? Are you going to, because you're doing a video, aren't you? I'm going to need to add a bit of pink in the back there. I really like your tan tone paper stuff. I'm going to have to fiddle around with the colours in the in the wing there but I think that's pretty good for now let's do her top this color and uh, let's do her pants this color yeah I'm going to do some copper over the top I think of these sections of king okay cool and um will you be doing that on tan tone paper i quite like metal and on i want to know what it looks like on tan tone i haven't done one on tan tone so i just thought i'd ask <laughs> so um um, top news here in Australia that's uh, going around on the news is that uh, some woman on social media posted that her dog was attacked and killed by a staffy. and anyway the story went viral turns out the staffy was actually defending itself from three dogs which the woman didn't disclose in her original post and there's footage of um, of the three dogs attacking or going to attack the Staffy. And the woman whose Staffy it was had her little boy with her as well. So she was trying to protect her four-year-old boy, trying to hold her Staffy on the lead. And these three dogs had been off a lead, got out of their owner's yard and had come up and basically tried to attack the Staffy. So the Staffy was um, defending itself. But um, it was extremely sad because the, the woman who originally posted it that her dog was attacked, everybody was like, oh, like mean, like to this poor little stuffy that was really just defending itself. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's huge news here. Huge news. Um, really sad. But anyway, that's what's been going on here in Australia. <laughs> That's our huge news. No, that's our viral news. Our paper, I use uh, mostly mostly 90 or higher. Uh, this is 80 pound, uh, but it's 216 GSM. So I wouldn't do anything lower than this. Um, the Strathmore paper that I've been playing with lately, though, isn't too bad. This is 117. This is, uh, uh, where are we? 190 GSM. It's not too bad. Um, but I, this is probably the thinnest paper that I've used. It's quite good. It's not that fantastic with, I found I used it with markers on an image that I just finished, <clears throat> which will be coming out hopefully tomorrow for patrons. I've got to get it all up there today. Um, and it came out actually quite nice on that paper. So I've been trying different papers because Nina is really hard to get here in Australia. So um, <clears throat> Strathmore seems to be quite easy to get on Amazon. So um, I'm trying some different papers. Um, I think I'm going to add some green now because she's starting to look pink. And I want to see what it looks like all together. <clears throat> so... I think the steampunky type of colours would be like, um, they're kind of like olivey greens, dark greens, yeah? Or would they be like emerald, rich emerald greens? Let's go olive green. Because I just got refills for all of these. <laughs> just 
getting a feel for it. I think that's going to go well. Let's do some in her pants, I think. And then we'll do all of these bits here, copper strings. And that front bit should be copper too, but... So that was a uh, YG99, YG95 and YG93 for the collar. Yeah, no, it's because her dog got hurt. So, well, it, it was actually killed, died. Its injuries were pretty bad. Um, but yeah, of course, she lashed out and said that, you know, it's all her fault. But in actual fact, it was the opposite way around. And uh, there's this great big petition going around now to try and stop them from putting the staffy down because, yeah, it was just defending itself. But uh, who knows what will happen. It's kind of a little bit scary. Sad. Doesn't seem fair. Kind of like heritage tones, aren't they? YG95. Actually, I might need a bit in between for the legs because it's a larger area. We'll go some 97 first. A little bit of 93 on the very edge. What about this back section here? Should we do the same? I'm thinking. Let's do the same. She's got nice size legs. Good to see some chunky people. I'm extremely fluffy, so <laughs> fluffy's good. <laughs> and tiny little bit of the where'd that go? Three. I'm not going to get much more than uh, what I've done done, I don't think. I'll just uh, finish off some of the copper, but we at least got the fairy done. Um, which is cool. Colours are good. Oh, actually, she needs a little bit of detail in her top here. I just want to add a little bit of detailing. Just wanted to mark it in first and see how it was going to look. out a little bit and let's give her some white down there too let's do white and that highlighted section just over a butt <laughs> you know touch the butt <laughs> uh, 
Uh, this one is from the book. I just posted it um, before, the one that I posted after you. It's from the Steampunk Life Colouring book. Uh, that's the link to it there. If, the, if that works again. Back to copper. And uh, I kind of did a bit of a, you know, what one do we choose? <laughs> and uh, everyone chose this one. I had a dragon printed out as well. Because, you know, there'd be dragons and I like dragons. Just popping some of the copper... through the wings here and where all the little parts sort of come into it I'm just popping a little bit in there too kind of gives me somewhere to put my dark patches which is cool doesn't really matter about the light reflection and light wherever it's coming from and look it just doesn't it's coming from everywhere <laughs> okay that let's do that bit just talking to myself now at least we got the most of the fairy done today and the rest is just background so I won't finish it because there's too many to do <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to decide which other image I'm going to do and uh, I'll make a start because I'm not going to get them finished during the live stream either so uh I'll try and uh, make a start and figure out my colours and things like that before we go live. Not like today. Today I was just so frazzled and <laughs> so unorganised. And as I said, I can I can be like that at least once. It's got to happen. Hello, posty man. The posty is back from his holiday. Jewelry pieces here. that one out oh going straight in for 15 this time Bye, Becky. Can't read the number. Ah, uh, that's all right. Patrons will get the list. You know, you know. There's a whole video dedicated to copper, and I'm using the same colours as the Patreon video. look up under the topic section under copper effects metal effects there's copper blue gold I think the only one I didn't do was silver actually probably should do that sometime
Do, 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 do. Almost finished. Time is nearly up. Goodness me. Seven minutes. I feel like I'm on a time challenge like with Sammy and me. <laughs> and Laura. I think we all finished our last image though that we did, didn't we? We did good. Zero two. I'm going out of lines. It's all good. So I did a Tinkerbell uh, image from Mystic Mirror's uh, fairy tale coloring book. And uh, I finished it and I'm hoping I'll have the video up on Patreon. I've just got to do a speed colouring and a flip through for, for YouTube. But uh, it was a lot of fun and I did it on that uh, Strathmore Bristol Mixed Media paper, the lighter, the lighter weight one and it came up alright. It's a bit of um, bit of Pam Pastel for the background. really hard not to go over the pink down here. Of course today my paper decides to bleed as well. I think we get the idea though, hey? <laughs> um, Alright, a little bit of the yellow. Don't worry about it, Alicia. I'll um, I'll go through it with you. <laughs> They're all written down on Patreon already, so we'll just probably grab them off there anyway. These wings are coming out really pretty looking, aren't they? I really like those. They look awesome. I think I missed the YR2 down here. And then the yellow again. Mm. 
Hi, Mia. I'm just going back in with the uh, RV 63 because I went over a bit of the coloured parts with the copper colours. So I just want to push that back in and just neaten it up a little bit. Yeah, the first one was hard to read because the label broke <laughs> uh, when I was sticking it on. And uh, I haven't had the time to print out a new lot of stickers for the tops of them. So guys, I'm going to be back in under 12 hours now, tonight, for me, maybe morning for you guys, and uh, kicking off with one of the images, possibly Jennifer Zimmerman first. And uh, it's very exciting, very excited. I'm going to use a little bit of the white pencil just to highlight some of these. Here he is. These uh, wings are a little bit more orange than the other section so that's fine we've got a little bit of color difference in the middle which i like so with all these images you could do a steampunk scrapbook like the ennis one that i'm still working on I've got one more image to make up my 10 I probably should do that shortly that was a huge event She's looking pretty groovy, hey? What do you guys think? Did I do well? <laughs> At one of the very first steampunk images I've done. I did do a steampunk image by Julia Spiri. Uh, Julia Spiri? Yeah, a little while ago, actually. And they, they were quite cute, actually. Um, <clears throat> but I wouldn't call them, like, steampunk, really. Oh, happy birthday, Elaine! Awesome! Let me see if I can find my Julia Spiri images on here to show you. Hmm. 
You know what? I can't find them. Facebook's just dull. <laughs> Facebook doesn't want to play games. He wants to play games. It went. It, I can't find them. Rats. They'll be in one of my folders somewhere. There were two little cute images. Um, should I find them? Do you want to see them? <laughs> or should I just leave it? These were for quite a few years ago. Um, let me just grab my camera. I've got my mess here. <laughs> so this was one of them. <laughs> She's cute. And this is the other one. See, not really steampunky, but kind of steampunky. Thanks, Joey. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Aww. Thank you. You're all awesome. Um, so, yeah, these were some of the ones that I did, like, really early. I didn't even have dates on them. Now, I was on Julia Sperry's colour team for a while. This is the one I've just finished, Tinkerbell. It looks a lot brighter in real life. Um, but this one is from the Mystic Art Mirrors uh, fairy tale coloring book. So this one will be for patrons tomorrow and uh, I'll just be coloring in a flip through of the book for YouTube. So that was done with that uh, mixed media paper, the thinner one, with Copics and some Pam Pastels. So it worked out all right. It came up all right. It didn't blend as well as Nina does. Like there's a little few sort of spots there that weren't quite as blended as I would have liked, but she came up awesome. She did, she did. So uh, there we have it. So guys, I will see you in... I don't know how many hours time now. 11, 30, 12, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Nine and a half hours again, and um, we'll kick off this big steampunk event. Yeah, I did a thing pat last week of the new Mystic Mirrors book. I did an image from there. Did you not see it? So that was from the new Beautiful Creatures colouring book. 
No problems, Lisa. Thanks so much for coming. So, uh, Pat, that's already um, done. That I did that one with the Karen, Karen um, Pro, brush pro markers. Well, guys, thank you again. Thank you, Lisa. I wish I could come and see yours. I love my sleep too much. <laughs> I do. It's white. This is solar white. It's white, white. Um, it's bright white. I don't know, Pat. You must have been. I just did it like two days last week or the week before. Friday, not last week, the week, hang on, Friday last week it was, and then I did the cat on the Monday. I did, I did. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining. I will see you later on today or tonight or tomorrow for you guys maybe. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this stream. Don't forget to uh, go and check out Nathaniel Wake. Um, his Facebook page and his Facebook group is linked to his page. You should be able to find it under groups uh, if you'd like to join there. He does do free images and stuff, so it's nice to be in there. Oh, they were solar white. Yeah, this is solar white and it is white. It's definitely white. This is, um, this is Express It, which has kind of got a grey tone to it. It's extremely bright. But, um, it's hard to sell, tell under this light, but it's kind of grey. So Express It is different. Uh, yeah, it's definitely white. Anyway, sorry to hear that. Um, guys, the uh, Sahari just posted up the top there the link to the uh, live streams for over the next 48 hours or whenever it is we're doing it. So uh, make sure you check that out as well. Thumbs up. <laughs> and um, hopefully I'll go back and I'll just double check all of the links in the description after this video and make sure they're all working properly because one of them wasn't working properly. So uh, hopefully everything else is. But thank you again, guys. See you later.